Well, and a jolly happy Wednesday to you. We're going to tackle a really interesting topic, I think, today. Is AEC the new geospatial battleground? Why do I ask that question? I think because this recent merger, Cesium and Bentley, has changed the landscape a little bit. So let's just step back, as I like to do. We have the geospatial world, which is made up, as I define it, by really four elements. There's GIS, there's remote sensing, AI is becoming ever more important in that world, and real-time data via IoT. So I see those as really the four components. I think that there's been a convergence in the GIS world, and sorry, in the geospatial world. And I spoke yesterday about the Axiom NV5 merger acquisition, which really brings a lot of that, those four elements that I do define as Geospatial 2.0 together. So I think there's some real advantages in being what I've called in that uh, talk and in the article I published this morning, a one-stop shop. So NV5 now can go in with a single salesperson, with a single team and say, we can cover you from the very start of the journey to the end of the journey, whatever that problem might be. So that's an interesting convergence. But this Cesium Bentley convergence is similar, but not in the purely geospatial world. So GIS, again, I'll, I'll continue on the GIS thread. GIS has, how does GIS expand? Sorry, how does the geospatial world expand and specifically GIS? Um, there are really two ways to do that. And I've watched Esri do this actually and some of the other guys in the space. They either need to grow within the spaces they currently dominate, i.e. become enterprise solutions. That is, they don't just sit in one department, they sit across all departments. And still, geospatial is isolated in different departments within organizations. GIS, if we talk specifically there, is a public sector dominant place. That's where it dominates the commercial world, less important. So there are two places that GIS can expand really, like I've said grow across the organization or expand it to new verticals. AC has been an important vertical that the GIS industry is, is expanding into. There have been, Esri have got Intergraph relationships now, BIM's been spoken about, Digital Twin's been spoken about. The platforms that are out there, ArcGIS, Reality, for example, are all moving into that Digital Twin world, which is not exclusively AEC, but it is a very important part of the equation. So that's where GIS and the geospatial landscape sits. Bentley systems have always been dominant in the engineering world. Now engineers don't really care about maps. They don't really care about geospatial. They're much more interested in working in CAD and designing the things that they're designing. So they kind of live in a somewhat isolated world, and I'm generalizing here, um, in that they're working on the asset themselves in isolation. Now, Bentley have got some geospatial aspects to their ecosystem, which means that you can take those assets and have them be in the real world. So in terms of that building you're designing, if you're an architect, what does that look like in the real world with the other things around, the other buildings around, roads, trees, all those things that, that make up the real world. That's where geospatial adds a considerable value to the engineering world. So the move of GIS into that world is, is totally logical, but Bentley kind of owned the engineering space and now they bought Cesium. They've thrown this whole geospatial layer on top of their work. So what does that mean in the big picture? It means that as the GIS and geospatial world tries to expand over here, we now have a huge player that has a dominance in the AEC world and has added a geospatial component. So when I say there's, there's a battleground forming, I believe that that growth area, that GIS in particular, has been looking at and building towards is now directly in competition with the Bentley Cesium merger. So we're gonna see heads butting in that particular place I think at the minute, Bentley in a much more dominant position since the engineers are familiar with their stuff to tra transition into the Cesium world and get that geospatial perspective is going to be a much more natural um, movement over. Much more difficult for GIS to actually bring this stuff into the um, to, to engineers, GIS to engineers. But I will add one final point on this. When you talk about these mergers that are happening on the geospatial side and the Axiom 
NV5 one is notable. NV5 are a, a remote sensing company, sessions, sorry, NV5 Geospatial are. So they bring some of these 3D, some of this stuff that, that the, the AC world are interested in, into perspective, into that world. So it's going to be interesting to see the how some of these, what I'm calling one-stop shops, can actually help GIS expand into the AEC world. Where I'll end this with is really how interesting we are at the moment. We're in a really interesting place. I'm kind of calling this Geospatial 2.0 because this is the consolidation, the coming together of elements within purely the geospatial world. And now we've seen geospatial being part of the engineering world in a big way with the Cesium Bentley systems merger. So some really, really interesting times are here, a times of massive change in our industry. Um, and I'll keep talking about this stuff because I think it's really, really important that we talk about it because finally we're seeing movement forward, I believe, in our industry, not from a technical, just from a technical perspective, but the commercial possibilities as well. So if you like what I've spoken about here, follow me on LinkedIn, subscribe to our, our Spatial Next channel where I post these videos and I'll do more of these coming up. Thanks very much for watching.